This is Jupiter Today for the 26th of December, 2014. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours 38 minutes 18.7 seconds and a declination of positive 14 degrees 59 minutes 2.2 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today is 131.964 degrees and that's 1.073 degrees greater than it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 689,715,800 kilometers and that's 1,755,746 kilometers closer than yesterday and that results in a relative velocity between the Earth and Jupiter of 73,156.08 kilometers per hour and that's 1,220.55 kilometers per hour slower than it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 188.54 degrees, CM2, 169.82 degrees, CM3, 66.97 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day soon to be moving behind Jupiter, already in Jupiter's shadow. Europa starts the day at its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto starts the day in quadrant three, still heading west. That's six hours UTC. Eo is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto is at maximum western elongation and is now in quadrant four he needs the rest of the day 12 hours UTC EO is at its eastern elongation and now in quadrant two heading west Europa is also in quadrant two heading west And Ganymede continues moving eastward in quadrant one. At 18 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant two, still heading west, as is Europa. And at zero hours UTC, can see that EO and Europa are both transiting Jupiter at this time. There will be seven Jupiter satellite events. At 302 UTC, EO reappears from behind Jupiter. At 2004, Europa's shadow ingresses. At 2103 UTC, EO's shadow ingresses. At 2155, Europa begins its transit of Jupiter. At 2157, Io begins its transit of Jupiter. At 2257, the shadow of Europa egresses. And at 2320, the shadow of Io egresses. So from 2157 to 2257, an entire hour, Io and Europa, the moons themselves, and their shadows are all on Jupiter. What a spectacular image that would make. There were no 
satellite mutual events today, but we do have 24 hours on the equator of Jupiter, just above the atmosphere, so we can see all the stars. And towards the end of the day, we will be seeing the EO and Europa activity. Here's Ganymede over in quadrant one. Europa and EO in quadrant two. There's Callisto. Pretty much a Western elongation. I think this is when we'll see EO in Europa interact with the, the sun and the Earth's line of sight. Just barely sort of see everything happen. This location is a longitude of zero degrees and a latitude of zero degrees. So sometimes we're not able to see everything that we want to see because we're just on the wrong side of the planet when that event occurs. The red spot crosses the meridian three times today. First at 0 hours 59 minutes, the next at 10.55 UTC, and the third at 20.50 UTC. There were no new images and no new radio data and no new papers. So please subscribe would also enjoy hearing your comments and questions and suggestions. I'd like to see any images you take of Jupiter. Send them to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.